What's your opinion about um, the public schools? The truth is the teachers I don't have any complaint. The problem that we have is that we don't have classrooms. There is no space. In one classroom they put partitions to put two classrooms in one. And there is very little space. So how many students per classroom? Um, there is around 70 kids in one classroom. A lot of kids. And it's also very, very hot. We, we asked for help to the major, but nothing happened. There is no money. There is a space, but no money. So how do you see the future of your kids? The future of my kids for me, I've told them that I'm going to work. Me and my husband will have uh, studies, degrees. So I told them that I'm um, applying for a scholarship to help them. And I always tell them that life with, without um, studies is really, really hard. I've told them that the, the, she has to be a professional and we are good and alive and they have to study because they will have more time. In my case, for example, I go home and my kid is sleeping and I don't have time to see her. So I tell them, with the studies they will have a better future. And I would love my kid to be a professional and something that she likes and she's interested in. How do you remember your childhood? Really hard. My, I had 10 brothers and my oldest sister. We have a, yeah, we have a job and my older sister, she left, she was born and she left at age of 18 with everything. A lot of times I just ran away from home. My mom always preferred the boys and sometimes she hit us with anything of anything that she can find and that's what I don't want for my kids. It's hard to remember that. Why do you think men in San Mateo have issues with alcohol? Mm. It's, it's a sickness, it's a disease. They, they can think that they can drink one today, one tomorrow, and stop. But it is a disease, like cancer. And it kills you little by little. They don't want to um, recognize that. And I've been talking with the psychologist and the psychologist told me that this is worse than cancer. And he is in a constant fight with himself. And he attends Saturdays here at the center um, two sessions to get better. And he's getting better. How you identify yourself, like a Guatemalan, indigenous, in Indian, indigenous, indigenous in San Mateo. We live here, and not a Mayan indigenous, just indigenous. 
What are some of the challenges that indigenous um, have here in San Mateo that they don't have, the Latinos doesn't have? Uh, well, first place, I think that the first thing is that the indigenous never give up, no matter what. They always fight and they never give up. And I imagine that a Ladino, I mean, I, I'm not going to say anything bad about Ladinos, but I think maybe they are a little weak, maybe. Yeah, they, they you don't have to deal with the things that we have to deal with. Why is uh, a life of a Ladino easier? Well, first place, Ladino, I imagine that they have more possibilities of money and studies. Uh, the doors are more open. First place, there is no money for an indigenous. So we cannot have degrees or... We don't have the same opportunities as Ladinos. Sometimes... Um, Ladinos um, think less of us, but I think that we are all the same. Just, it's just that they have more money. But I think indigenous and Ladinos, we are all the same. Um, have you suffered discrimination? Yes, sometimes. Sometimes, for example, in a meeting, I participated and I like to participate and sometimes I see that yeah they, they make less of you they look at you um, and make you feel bad because you don't have money or you don't have um, studies but we are all the same no matter what is your skin color or complexity it doesn't matter Sometimes I say that, you know, has money, has everything, but they don't have what I have, the spirit or the values that I have. So that's sometimes what we think. And where do you think that those feelings, those thoughts come from? Well, I think those feelings sometimes come from their, their own self-concept, how people see themselves, perceive themselves. But I feel the same. Even if I don't have money or studies, I feel the same. I worked with a family in Antigua, a, a rich family of Latinos. They never make me feel less of myself. We all eat together around the table, and on the other side, though, I work with another family where I couldn't be with them in the kitchen, or I couldn't eat with them, or I couldn't touch anything 